Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, not by what we have done, not by what we have done. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We have heard you so sorry and have not been there for the sake of things you have done to us. Have mercy on us and forgive us. And may the light of the Bible be well and walk on the way to the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, in mercy, I forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthening all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall so be your praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 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 Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to our God our salvation. Let us come out the glory of our salvation. We pray our church down with songs. For the Lord of the Lord is the great God, and the great great King of all the gods. And His name is like the pattern of the earth, and the light of the sea is the most awesome. The sea is the sea of the sea of the sea of the sea of the sea. Thank you. 
second book of the kings Elisha said to Naaman go in peace but when Naaman had gone from him a short distance Gehazi the servant of Elisha the man of God thought my masters let that Aramean Naaman off too lightly by not accepting from him what he offered as the Lord lives I will run after him and get something out of him so Gehazi went after Naaman, and when Naaman saw someone running after him, he jumped down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is everything all right? He replied, Yes, but my master has sent me to say two members of a company of prophets have just come to me from the hill country of Ephraim. Please give them a talent of silver and two changes of clothing. Naaman said, Please accept two talents. He urged him and tied up the two talents of silver in two bags, with two changes of clothing and gave them to two gave them to two of his servants who carried them in front of Gehazi when he came to the citadel he took the bags from them and stored them inside he dismissed the men and they left he went in and stood before his master and Elisha said to him where have you been Gehazi he answered your servant has not gone anywhere at all but he said to him did I not go with you in spirit when someone left his chariot to meet you? Is this a time to accept money and to accept clothing, olive orchards and vineyards, sheep and oxen and male and female slaves? Therefore the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and to your descendants forever. So he left his presence leprous, as white as snow. The word of the Lord. Canticle 13. Glory to you, Lord God, most high God. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and how we exalt you forever. Glory to you, the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and how we exalt you forever. Glory to you, the Lord of the depths, and the high of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and honor and exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus opened his mouth and taught his disciples, saying, You've heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. 
It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that anyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of chastity, chooses her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you've heard said that to those of ancient times, you shall not swear falsely, but swear, carry out the vows you've made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let your word be yes, yes, or no, no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, 18. Splendor, honor, king, and power. Show your star by the glory of our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will the creature that is in every being. And you are by life from the land of the sight. The Lord is your God and the Redeemer of God. And every other thing in the land of the people of the nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so our kingdom persists upon our throne, and the Lord is the land. We worship and praise for the name and splendor forever and forevermore. Thank you, God, the Father of our mind, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord. Bless your inheritance. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. We shall never fail in vain. Almighty God, you gave your servant Lancelot Andrews the gift of your Holy Spirit made him a man of prayer and faithful pastor of your people to effect in us what's lacking in your gifts of faith, to increase it, of hope, to establish it, of love, to kindle it, that we may live in the light of your grace and glory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the same spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. For God, you've made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. And hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for the church in the world that you would be one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Union to the Episcopal Church, the Diocese of West Tennessee, and Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon, clergy and lay leaders of our parishes and missions. We pray especially this day for Grace Church in Paris and for the ECW. In our parish, Lord, we pray for conversion and renewal. We pray that you would guard God and grow us. We pray that we would glorify your name. 
with you, the sick, the suffering, the poor, the needy, especially those who come here. We pray now for the needs and concerns of all, alive or silent. with all joy and peace and believe with you the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 